All right, you guys, we've got some good news in the Lecky family. I actually convinced my family to invest into cryptocurrency yesterday. Bow. So that means there's probably going to be a massive dump shit the bed moment. I did post this on X not too long ago. So again, go follow the X if you want some like hourly updates. I'm always on X posting. I did ask you guys what I should buy my mother. Okay. And everybody pretty much was saying in the comments, by ICP. So I did get her some ICP. I also got her some Cardano. So you guys let me know in the comments right now. Is that W mum or is that an L mum? You guys can let me know. Is she going to make it? Is she going to be financially free? And now before we do go into all the ICP stuff, all the altcoin stuff, I did film episode two this week or last weekend, should I say, I went to a different part of London to find out if the public could accurately guess the price of Bitcoin. A tenner. How much do you think it's worth today? How much is it supposed to be? Go on, tell me the answer. No, the, the guess. <laughs> the closest guess was 66.5. Uh, 7,000? I do not understand. Brazil, I have Portuguese. 3 million. 3 million. We already know who there's a very clear winner. Look at the altcoins. Altcoins are back testing a breakout from an almost two year accumulation range and people are bearish. Now I, I know I always say people are bearish and everybody in the comment section, all of you guys, you watching the video right now, you always tell me I'm not bearish. I couldn't be bearish. So again, when I say a lot of people are bearish, I just mean like crypto Twitter in general. Okay. All the little noobs, all the new retail that are coming into the market, they get shaken out pretty quickly. Looks like a textbook retest to me. If you are getting shaken out at the market now, what happens when we do start to have our mega altcoin rally? And it looks like there's diminishing returns. However, it's still going to bring us to like over a, you know, a, a multi-trillion dollar market cap for our altcoins, which is fantastic. And not only that, looks like Bitcoin is about to surge. Is there a hidden bullish divergence forming for Bitcoin on the daily RSI? It does look like it. Last time we were here, guys, Bitcoin was massively oversold and then it had an extreme surge to come after it. Okay, so that's time number one. Time number two, we're in time number three now. And is that going to bring us up to close to six figures? What do you guys think Bitcoin is going to be reaching in this cycle, what is the all time high going to be? Go and let me know in the comment section right now. But as I said to all of you guys yesterday and earlier this week, last week, all that sort of stuff, we've got Dominic speaking with Utopia tomorrow. Okay, so that's going to be in Zurich, Switzerland, and that's going to be at a time of 1.30 to 1.45 on the main stage. So all of you guys need to have your notifications on for that. And I'll cover that in tomorrow's video as well. So make sure you are ready for tomorrow's upload. If you do miss this, then I'll be covering exactly what he's been speaking about. But for all of you guys who want a little brief intro into Utopia and what it is, you can watch the following clip. Utopia. Utopia stands for unstoppable, tamper-proof, open platform, for independent autonomy. It's a sovereign cloud technology that is powered by ICP technology that will extend the power and reach of third generation blockchain into the field of enterprise and government compute. These guys are desperate for solutions to cybersecurity challenges, resilience challenges, IT productivity challenges, licensing cost challenges, and they want sovereign compute. Platforms where service providers like big tech clouds don't have backdoor access to their data. ICP is taking a shot at the main prize, offering a complete alternative compute stack that packages third generation blockchain technology to solve for these seminal problems. To put this in perspective, the global cost of cybercrime is tipped to top $10 trillion next year. It's a problem on a par with war and climate change. These are the kinds of big problems ICP can help solve. Enterprise and government need solutions. When an enterprise or government builds on a utopia network, their systems and services run safely without the fallible protections of cybersecurity systems like firewalls and anti-malware, just like on the internet computer. Moreover, the simplification of IT infrastructure will make IT personnel far more productive. We currently spend $2 trillion a year on IT personnel, but they spend 95% of the time just chasing complexity. And by the way, did I mention you don't need a database server to build systems and services on Utopias? 
it's going to help enterprise save on their one trillion licensing costs too. Utopia will be a game changer, not only for the enterprise, but the internet computer and ICP ecosystem. When you check the weekly GitHub stats, guys, look at ICP in the commits. 595, we are at the top. And then you compare it to all these other blockchains, guys, okay? While everyone says ICP is bearish and they don't like the price action, I mean, the proof is in the pudding right in front of your eyes right there. So shout out ICP robot. And when we come to ICP coins, guys, I mean, look at this. The ICP coin list is always increasing. And as I say to you guys, you need to go and find like whatever ICP ecosystem coin you do like. A lot of people, you know, they love Wombo. You know that I am a big EXC fan myself and it looks like we are at a time to be accumulating a little bit more windowage so i may be buying a little bit more today guys we actually did hit a peak price i think it was like two dollars fifty okay it was around two two dollars thirty eight or something like that right guys so we're now down fifty percent if you do believe in the meme coin ecosystem in icp then this could be a great opportunity for you guys to be picking up more windowage if we come to bitcoin everything is playing out as we expected okay we had our wick off that high 58s to low 59s level now we need to have our slow grind up back to this neckline and then our breakout so that we can be targeting that 100k what was it 106k for bitcoin and then when we come to icp again look we are back in super oversold territory on the daily rsi and the last time we were this low guys was around here before we had that massive like 700% rally okay we were around two to three dollars last time we were this oversold on the daily so we had our rally up we've had our pullback looks like the RSI is reset is this going to be the start of the next run guys okay so while the RSI can come down technically it can come down a little bit lower we are still at a very amazing price for ICP that's it let me know what you think of ICP how are you feeling about the market are you starting to return bullish again you guys let me know in the comments and until next time it's been your way money I'll see you in the next one peace guys